So let's begin with a very simple question. We are saying we'll learn data analytics using Excel, right? So what is data analytics? It is just taking the existing data of any business and then analyzing it to convert that data into information. Even ever since our childhood, when these terms called as data and information were first introduced to us, what were we taught? Raw information is data, right? Something that has not been processed. But when you pass that data through a series of algorithms or you do some sort of analysis on that data and try to draw some meaningful inferences from it, that is information, right? So taking raw data and transforming that into information is the simplest way of defining data analytics. Okay, so it, it is a field that takes the existing data and tries to analyze that data, tries to come up with some actionable insights, helps a business improve its performance. It helps in transforming the business. And of course, the final goal for any business is monetary benefit, right? So we are going to come up with ways or uh, understand or um, help people understand ways in which they can improve the profits of their business, scale it up. Okay, that is the purpose of data analytics. Okay, now what is Microsoft Excel? The technical definition of Excel is that it is simply a spreadsheet application. If you look at an Excel, it is nothing but a series of rows and columns, a spreadsheet. Okay, where data can be entered and it has a lot of capabilities to perform simple to advanced calculations, computations on the data. We can create a variety of charts. Pivot tables are a very, very strong feature which Excel has, especially for business intelligence. Okay, so it is a part of the Microsoft Office product suite. There are many uh, products, right, that come with Microsoft Office. There is Word, there is PowerPoint, there is Microsoft Access Database, so on and so forth. And Excel is one of the members in the Microsoft Office product suite. So how do we install this tool on our machines? By going to this link. Okay, when you go to microsoft.com, let me take you there. If you are absolutely new, then you will have to go to microsoft.com. And from there, you can install the Office 365. Uh, uh, you can take the subscription for Microsoft Office 365. Okay, it will include everything. It's not like we can take Excel separately. It includes the subscription, which will allow you to use all the products under Microsoft Office. This is available for free for one month. Okay. Post that you will not be able to use it until and unless you purchase the license. So one month is more than enough for you to learn the tool. Okay, you can uh, even master the tool in one month. So you can go ahead and try it for free. You can use this for home option because we would be installing it on our local machines and use it simply to learn the tool. So you can go here. Now, um, Depending on how you would like to make the payment, you can choose an option and you can click on the start your one month trial. So when you click on the start your one month trial, uh, the tool will, you know, take you to a page where you have to enter your card details. So if you are, uh, if you have any concerns about doing that, if you feel you would not want to provide your credit or debit card details for the payment, which will not be debited from your account, okay? It will happen only post one month. One month, the first month is free and you will be charged after one month. So before that, you can go ahead and cancel your subscription at any point of time. So you will be prompted to give your card details for the payment. Once you confirm it, it will give you the subscription for that particular tool. Okay, so when we click on the continue button after providing the payment information, we can go ahead and download the uh, tools, all the tools in the product suite by clicking on this button, download desktop apps. Okay, once the installation, once it is done, once it is downloaded, you can run the simple installation wizard. And okay, once you inst click on install office, okay, you can run the installation wizard, the progress bar will indicate 
the completion once it is done and you will now be able to use the office apps. Okay, so this is the procedure. I had taken screenshots while I was installing them in order to share it with you people. I hope you all got it. Now, let's say you don't want to get into this hassle. You don't want to um, take the subscription and then you have to remember to, you know, um, cancel it out. Otherwise, you will be charged. So if, if you are a little apprehensive about installing this tool from here, what you could do is there is a free alternate version of Excel, which is of double uh, Microsoft uh, 365 Office, which is WPS Office. That is one more thing that you can go ahead and check. No, no, Google spreadsheets do not have all the features. Okay, so no, Google spreadsheets will not help us. You have to either use Microsoft Excel or you can go with WPS Office. You see this one. So WPS.com slash office is also something that gives you the office tools and it is available for a free download. Pretty much most of the functions are there. Some of them might not be there. Okay, some of them, some of the features might be missing, but uh, it will not kind of hamper your learning curve in any way. Okay, even with this WPS tool, you will comfortably able to learn most of the things. All right. If you people have already installed any earlier versions of Excel, no problem, you can continue using it. Okay, if you're doing it for the first time, I request you to install Microsoft Office 365. If you have already installed it, you're using some version, maybe Excel 13, 2013, or Excel 2016, or Excel 2019, go ahead, no problem. But if it's a very, very old version like 2010, certain features will not be available. Okay, certain few features will not be available. All right. So yeah, all this information will be shared with you, the PPT and the links, all this we will share it with you once the session.